to be here. I'd like to tell you briefly about my housemate, Kim. She's 25 and she's on every single dating website imaginable. She's on Plenty of Fish, OK Cupid, My Single Friend. She's on Tinder. She's probably on Grindr. She's doing the hell out of the dating industry. She's on all of them. She refers to the whole thing as the husband directory. Uh, but behind her back, we call it the Screwfix catalog. <laughs> Uh, you might be wondering why that website, plentyoffish.com, is called that. You're probably uh, conversant with that phrase. There's plenty more fish in the sea. We know when we hear that, don't we? Couples break up, and one of you trudges back to your single friends, and your single friends go, Welcome back, welcome back. We knew you'd fuck it up. <laughs> and they always say the same thing, don't they? They always say there's plenty more fish in the sea. And we know what that means. That means there's plenty more available people to date living in the sea. And... <laughs> I'm aware some of you are taking that on face value. Is that what it means? <laughs> um, but uh, what people never say at the end of that sentence is what I think they should say. No one ever says there's plenty more fish in the sea, but be warned, there are also loads more fishermen on your boat. <laughs> plenty more fish in the sea as a concept only works if you consider yourself to be the only fisherman on the only boat in an infinite sea of fish who are just desperate to get your shiny hook in their mouths. And it doesn't work like that, does it? Because as soon as you break up with someone, suddenly you're jostling for position with all these other bastard fishermen. They've all got glistening rods and the latest beards. And you, you just had one fish which you kept in a tank for years. And on reflection, that's probably why it was feeling so trapped in the first place. And now you've got to go up against these guys who are very unethical, a lot of them. They don't even want to catch the fish. They don't want to eat it. They just want to catch it, get off with it, and then throw it back. And then that fish isn't going to trust any other fishermen for ages, is it? <laughs> it's just not fair. Some of them, like I said, unethical. You know, they fish with dynamite. Just bosh, we're hitting on and see what floats up to the surface. It's hideous. <laughs> a lot of the fish don't want to be caught. That's fair enough, isn't it? A lot of the fish would rather be caught by another fish and swim up against it all nice and slippery and the fishermen are happy to watch that live if possible <laughs> and on the internet if not it's easy as well to get stuck in uh, in a trap isn't it you can get caught in a cycle we've all been there of trying to find the perfect fish you know you've got all this fish it's really good but the scales aren't quite as shiny as i'd like throw it back this fish is really into me, but the gills are a bit of a weird shape. Throw it back. This fish is an incredible swimmer, but frankly, mental. Throw it back. It's different for fish and women, though, isn't it? It's probably not easy. It's probably much harder. If you're a fish and woman, and someone says to you, there's plenty more fish in the sea, that's basically a warning, isn't it? Because the job of a fish and woman is not to go out and catch the fish. No, much harder. She has to stand there, brace herself, as an endless array of stupid, horny, flapping fish leap up out of the sea, out of the toilets, on the boat, the port hops, it doesn't even need to be on the boat. She can just be walking down the street, sitting in a cinema in Starbucks, constant fish in her face going, oh, what are you wearing? I like your Southwester. Can I get you a coffee? And her job is to sort through the available fish, work out which ones are pricks and throw them back. Or, or to be more accurate, work out which fish is the biggest wanker of all and then go out with that one in defiance of all logic. Thank you.